Hello everybody, I am Mike from the Rewatch Project with Hannah and Mike podcast and I am back with another music reaction video. This time it is The Weight by The Band and The Staple Singers uh, from 1978. This is from the last Waltz movie that uh, and it was directed by Martin Scorsese but he was certainly involved in it. This was a uh, concert movie that covered the final performance by The Band, Robbie Robertson and Levon Helms Band who... Uh, Back Bob Dylan for a while, but were a great seminal group in their own right. Uh, I am sort of broadly familiar with this song, but I don't know this performance. So yeah, I'm really curious to see this. Um, I do like a bit of 70s rock. Quick reminder to check out all of the other videos on this channel. I do a lot of film, TV reactions, as well as the audio podcast that I do with my wife, where we rewatch some of our favorite old movie and TV franchises. But there are also other music reaction videos on this channel as well. And that's something that I'm going to look to do a little bit more of. So have a little look, look at some of the categories, look at some of the playlists, get a sense of what we do. And please do get involved, like, subscribe, but really crucially comment. It's really good to know that there are people alive out there and um, and I love geeking out about music. I've got to say, I do pause the video a lot. I do talk over them. That's the nature of reaction videos. Um, sometimes people will comment on that and, you know, I want to be nice, but hey, that's what reaction videos are. So I just want to get that out of the way now. Uh, and uh, this will be an honest and open reaction to this performance. So let's go. Interesting guitar there. Is that Gibson? Nice. Country rock groove. I pulled in the Nazareth, just feeling my drummer vocalist. Great clear voice. Need to find a place where I can lay my head. Um, I love drummer vocalists. Uh, it, it's a little bit visually limiting on stage, but you get people like um, Dennis Wilson, where there's just naturally just such a groove to the way that they sing that is obviously connected to the fact that they're drummers and. Uh, what a beautiful, clear, crisp voice. Uh, it's Levon Helm, I think this is. Um, yeah, wow. Already just, this is this is what it's all about, right? Mister, can you tell me where a man might find a bed? He just grinned and shook my hand. Though it was all he said. <laughs> We're camera work here as well. They're really getting in there. So those harmonies. Boom, boom, that groove there. It's just it's spiritual, isn't it? It's kind of, it's country, but it's gospel. It's all of that great rural music. It's Appalachian. Um, it's African-American. It's, uh, it's blue collar, uh, Caucasian. It's, uh, yeah, this is just... American music. Great voice, Levan Helms got. Ooh. And we're looking for a place to hide. That groove there, that looking for a place to hide. Oh. Man, this is, is this, um, is this Mavis Staples? Uh, I've got to go back here. Sorry. This is just too good. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> what a, what a great, um, change up. You know, still sticking with that groove, but just bringing a whole different sensibility to it. My bags out, and we're looking for a place to hide. <sighs> when I saw old Carmen and the devil walking side by side. That groove. Now, sir, oh, hey, Hammond. Carmen, come on, let's go downtown. She said, I gotta go, but my friend can stick around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wow, yeah. <laughs> uh, it just doesn't get better than this, does it? This is just the best. Um, yeah, that's that's maybe Staples, I believe. I bit of an embarrassing story, actually. I um, one of my big gateway musicians was Prince. I was really just into like hard rock, heavy metal music growing up in the late eighties, and then I really got into Prince, and that introduced me to funk uh, and soul and R and B and gospel. And I went to see him on the Nude Tour in 1990. That was the album he did, the tour he did after he released the Batman album. And maybe Staples supported him, but I didn't know her. I was like a heavy metal kid. And um, I just saw this, um, you know, middle-aged then, maybe middle-aged with some change, 
um, African American woman coming on and singing soul music that I wasn't really into. And I left. Well, I didn't leave the gig. I just went for a walk and looked at a concession stand. And now I could just go back and throttle myself because it's just like, you idiot. You just didn't understand what a legend there was there on stage. And you just took it for granted because you were young and narrow minded and stupid. And I feel even more strongly about that now watching this. But I'm going to go back and play this bit again because just the grooves and the soul and the humor and the kind of sass that, that she brings here. This, oh my God. And the camera work as well. You can tell this is made by a filmmaker. The camera just roams the stage. It's none, none of these self-congratulatory shots of the audience that you usually get. It's just floating like you're, you've got this God's eye view of the stage. Seeing this incredible collaboration. I picked up my bags and went looking for a place to hide. When I saw old Carmen the Hammond in a moment. Walking side by side. Yeah. Look at the way she's performing it. Look at her face. She said, I gotta go, but my friend can stick around. Take a load off Fanny. Goosebumps. Take a load for free. They know he's great as well. Look at Robbie Robertson there. He's just in heaven. Saintly voice. It's just old Luke and Luke is waiting on the judgment day. All these little guitar riffs and blues, funk. With a country twang. The pride on their faces. This makes me so happy. They're all absorbed and in their own little worlds but together oh he's coming coming out the gate hot So different. It's like a reverie. Look at them there in a reverie. Great musicianship. Great technical musicianship as well, but played with feeling, soul, and heart. Whole group singing that. Great filmmaking. Yeah, the whole thing. Love to see this at the cinema. I'm watching the rest of this. Oh, this is a Mavis going for it in the background there. Wow. Yeah, that's... Um, what can you say? I mean... It's a great song. I drove into Nazareth. I was feeling about half past dead. You know, I mean, that's just a great opening line, you know, like the screen door slams, Mary's dressways. You know, it's one of those um, invitation in cinematic openings to a song. Uh, and then you've got the great performance of the band themselves, this great country rock singer songwriter jam band, you know. Uh, and then you've got the staple singers, you know, you've got. Mavis and Pops Staple, I think is it Pops Staples or 
I know him from True Stories for David Byrne film, so I, I came to these people a lot later. Um, but I think this is just what's great about American music, and this is what's great about diversity. You know, that word's become a real hot-button word, but this is what you get. You get people bringing their different cultural, uh, musical, philosophical, spiritual perspectives to something and creating this new other thing that's amazing that couldn't exist without this combination. You know, you've got the, the band who are, you know, white men, uh, playing this music that's, you know, country music, but uh, is also steeped in Appalachian music and the blues, which is a, uh, you know, African-American music form. And then, of course, you've got gospel and funk and soul and all of these things working together. And it's just it's just so beautiful and so perfect. And I love this. So, yeah, um, let me know what you think of this song and this performance. And I'll definitely get to doing a few more of these reaction videos soon. So please do check out the other videos on this channel. Check out the Rewatch Project with Hannah and Mike podcast, which shares this channel and back soon.